Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next concept in advanced computer architecture is Amdon's love for fixed workload. So when we are talking about the fixed workload, we are going to use this Amdon's law. Before going to explain the concept of this law, let me explain you some basics of performance evaluations. So if you understand some basic uh, performance evaluations formulas, then you can uh, try to uh, work out with this Amdon's law. So the basics of performance evaluation where we are talking about a sequential algorithms as well as the parallel algorithms. So when we are talking about the performance evaluations, you have to consider sequential process as well as a parallel process, right? So uh, which process is having the more uh, performance evaluation means if you are working on sequential means their performance evaluation is different. If you're working on the parallel concept means their performance evaluation is different. So now let try to understand what is the sequential algorithm and what is this parallel algorithm. Sequential algorithm, it's nothing but it is evaluated it is evaluated in terms of its execution time means how much time it is taking to complete the process its execution time which is expressed which is expressed as function of input size input size it's completely based on your input size how much size you are giving the input to the process so that the processor is trying to execute that in uh, at how much time so this is a sequential algorithm so one after another it's a sequential now coming to the concept of parallel so the parallel algorithm its execution time its execution time depends not only on input size, not only on input size, then what? So not only on input size, but also on factors like. So what we need to consider when we are working on the parallel concept. So we have to consider the factors like parallel architecture, number of processors, etc so in the parallel algorithm when we are trying to evaluate the performance of the system so we have to consider not only the input sides we need to consider about the parallel architecture and the number of processors all those things so i think you get an idea what exactly the performance evaluation uh, when we're talking about the sequential algorithm when you're talking about the sequential algorithm we have to consider the input size when we are talking about the parallel algorithm we have to consider the input size as well as some other factors that are present like number of processor we are using and the parallel architecture type that we are using okay so the important performance matrices are nothing but when we are talking about the important performance matrices or parallel runtime, speed up and efficiency. Efficiency. So try to remember these three terms. These three terms when you are talking about the performance evaluation. So these are the performance matrices. You call it as a performance matrix so we need to know about parallel runtime speed up and as well as efficiency so try to understand what is this parallel runtime what is the speed up and what is the formula for the efficiency if you understand this then we are implementing these concept in our amdon's law there is completely a relation is there in all this concept now we are discussing the basics of performance evaluation if you want to evaluate the performance of any system that is on fixed workload we need to know these concepts so that's why i'm explaining what exactly these terms are now coming to the parallel runtime first one parallel runtime what do you mean by this parallel runtime parallel runtime it's we are generally call it as a t of n let us take the time required for n is a number of processor Okay, if it is a parallel means I don't know how many processor are there. So you can take n. So here the number of processor or n. n is number of 
processors. Okay, suppose, suppose when n is equal to 1, let's take n is equal to 1. What do you mean by this? That is the time required, it's only 1. It's a, whenever the n is equal to 1 means there is only one processor. So, one processor means what? Nothing but a sequential. Right or wrong? If only one processor is there, that is nothing but a sequential. So, whenever n is equal to 1, you are representing the parallel runtime as t of 1. Whenever the 1 is equal to 1, uh, n is equal to 1, the parallel runtime you are representing it as a t of 1. It's nothing but it denotes sequential runtime of program on single processor. I am writing the statements also so that it will be reference for you. It will uh, use as a reference for you. So, T of 1, it's nothing but a sequential. Denotes a sequential runtime of a program on single processor. So, what is the sequential runtime of sing, uh, single processor? The sequential runtime is T of 1 and the parallel runtime is T of n. Remember these two terms. Whenever T of 1 is came across, it's nothing but the sequential runtime. Whenever the t of n is there, you call it as a parallel runtime. So, I think you understand what exactly the sequential uh, runtime and the parallel runtime. One part is over. Now, coming to the next one, speed up. So, what is a speed up? A speed up is nothing but, it is the, it is the ratio of, let me write the definition. It is the ratio of Time taken, time taken to run on single processor, okay, single processor is nothing but the sequential runtime, single processor to parallel computer with identical processor. This is the definition of the speed up. If you didn't understand, don't get confused. I'll explain it. Speed up means it is the ratio of, okay, that means it's coming as a ratio. It is a ratio of time taken for a single processor. Single processor is nothing but what? T of 1. Time taken, the runtime. Time taken is nothing but the runtime. The runtime of single processor is a sequential, T of 1. And the time taken to the parallel computer. Parallel computer means T of n. This is T of n. So, speed up is equal to T of 1 by T of n. You also call it as a T of s by T of p. S means sequential, p means parallel. So, this is a formula for the speed up. Speed up, s of p is equal to T of s by T of n. So, this s of p, you also call it as s of n. n is the number of processor that we are using. Okay. So, you are representing T of 1 by T of n. So, this is this formula. The speed up of n processor, when you are talking about n processor is equal to the sequential by parallel. Okay. So, this is the parallel speed up. Though, two or over. Now, coming to the efficiency. How, what you, how you are going to calculate the efficiency? And what do you mean by efficiency? So, efficiency means it is defined as the ratio of Speed up achieved, speed up achieved and the number of processor, the number of processor used to advise, achieve it, sorry, use it to achieve it. So, efficiency it's nothing but is the ratio of, so this is also ratio of, for if you are taking the end processor, E of n is equal to, it is the ratio of speed up achieved. Speed up means S of n. Speed up. S of n by the number of processor used to achieve it. How many processor we are using? N. See how easy it is, the efficiency. Speed up by number of processors. This is a speed up formula. Just now we calculated the speed up of S of n is equal to T of 1 by T of n. Okay. So, efficiency is E of n for n processor is equal to speed up S of n by n. So, what is S of n? We already calculated the sequential by parallel. Parallel for n processor into n. So, you can also write it as a T of S 
is a sequential n into t of p is a parallel. It's nothing but the efficiency. So this is a formula for the efficiency. So these are the basic performance evaluations. I think you understand what are the basic performance evaluations. How to calculate this? The parallel runtime, speed up and as well as the efficiency. So we will use these formulas in calculating the Andon's law. Thank you.